When you get something taken away from you that you've known from 17, 15, 16, 17 years of old, and then all of a sudden you're not allowed to do it, it makes it pretty tough. You know, when I was at the worst, my releases were having a beer, being able to go out with mates and training, and for 10 weeks I couldn't do that because I was just so crook. So you go through ups and downs, but as long as you're talking with friends and family and, you know, there's enough support in this room that can get us all through it, don't think you're by yourself. You know, I still wasn't perfect and I had my own flaws, so um, I guess it's just... One, be a big brother to a few of them, but at the same time, make sure that you open up their eyes and make make them see what you see, I guess. Hold it, you come up to me, you basically on the so you're referencing me, you're all stand, and then it'll be fine, get back to the camera. There's so many different ways you can lead, and, and you know, you've got to be yourself. I, I tried to be someone I was not, I mean, you think you have to be that type, whereas, you know, you understand that you've been picked in that role because of what you've done, not what you're expected to do. So with where a lot of football clubs are going these days with the connection piece and just being yourself, I suppose, you know, you can't, there's no dictatorship. There's no, as I said before, do as I say, not as I do. It's just like one in, all in and make sure we do it together. I guess for me, I'm understanding them as, as blokes before I am leaders because um, you want to get to know them. You want to understand what they are like off field and you know what they've, I suppose how they live their life day to day. So everyone's on a level playing field at the moment until we actually work out who the leadership group is and how that'll look. The amount of change with the list that's happened within the last three or four months, I guess, you know, it's not going to click straight away and you're starting to see within um, training sessions the continuity that they're building and I guess that synergy of how each other's going to play with each other, it's only going to go up from here. So at the end of the day, we're here to hopefully win a second cup for this footy club. So knowing that that's the end goal, I guess knowing that you know if you have to be hard on, on someone that it's never personal, it's just to get better. So uh, if you see something, you, you kind of, you know, you don't pull up, pull them up in front of the group, you might grab them after the meeting or, you know, whether it be on the track and just advise them that that might have been an opportunity where they've had a chance to impart something upon the group. You know, you've got to let your guard down in a sense and understand it's for the better of this team. Everyone's a leader into this footy club, whether they like it or not. It's like when you, as soon as you become an AFL player, you're a role model. So understanding that and, and knowing that that's the case, and um, not using it as an excuse. The more leaders that we have on field, it makes Rats' job a lot easier. And you'll have three or four co on-field coaches, and they take the game by the scruff of the neck and understand that they can make calls out there and, and are confident enough to do that and not have to worry about what repercussions might have. Because at the end of the day, coaches are. Uh, can give the boys the instructions, they've got to drive it and, and live it on the field.